Hello and welcome. My name is John Howitt and I'm president of Panasonic Toyota Racing. We're here on a beautiful sunny afternoon in Cologne, the headquarters of Toyota's Formula One activities. This is normally a very secret place where only a privileged few people can enter. But this afternoon it's my pleasure to add you to that privileged few and invite you to have a quick look at our facility. First of all, I'd like to take you to the carbon composite department, one of the most important in any Formula One team and where the main body and structural suspension parts are made. It doesn't look very exciting here, but inside it's much more. This is the final assembly shop in composites and one of the busiest in the whole factory. In this area, we actually translate the designs into real components. On the left-hand side, we have the cutting room, where the fibers are cut very precisely from large sheets, and they're then transferred into the layup area. And here, the carbon fibers are placed in molds in a specific direction to optimize the actual strength of the component. We use so much material of carbon in Formula One because it's light, it's strong, it's extremely stiff, and it adds, as you can sometimes see, to driver safety. It looks a bit like a bank vault, but it's actually an autoclave. After the parts are completed in the layup room, they're placed in a bag, the bag is placed under vacuum, and they're then actually baked under high pressure and temperature in this oven. These ovens work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. This is the first engine from the first race and our first points. Let's have a look inside the engine workshop. In this area, uh, we assemble the engines. We have highly skilled technicians, probably more skilled than Swiss watch assemblers, putting together the engine. On the right-hand side, we pre-assemble the cylinder heads. And on the left-hand side, we have teams of two people assembling the final engine itself. Now for my daily exercise, let's go inside one of the engine test bench areas. Hello? This is one of the test cells that we have and the finished engines are installed onto these units. We can undertake many different types of test and evaluation, either power development, mapping for each specific circuit, durability testing. Basically, we can do everything and simulate everything in these facilities. The aerodynamic performance of a Formula One car is probably one of the largest contributions to its overall performance. And we're now in the wind tunnel area, one of the most secret and restricted access areas of any Formula One factory. Here, new parts are fitted to a model and tested rigorously and remorselessly to gain additional performance. Just behind this wall and a little bit lower is the main test and control room we've just come from. This is a typical 50% wind tunnel model that we use within the tunnel. And as you can hear and see, the air is accelerated around a circle over the model from speeds of 50 to over 100 meters per second. Yeah. 
What you see behind me is the F1 workshop. In this area, all the parts from all the other manufacturing or production areas in the factory come together and a race car is built. The guys that you see working here are actually from the race or the test team, and the cars behind me are being finally built for the next race. But the track is much more exciting even than being here in Cologne. So why don't we go and put some team clothing on and see what it can be like. Welcome to the back office of Panasonic Toyota Racing and our typical test configuration. A brief look into the back office of a typical Formula One team. We bring to a test around four trucks. In the bottom of the trucks we carry a huge number of spare parts as well as transporting the cars. On this truck you can see it has a high deck. Let's just have a look inside. And in the top deck we have large meeting rooms as well as a base for our engineers. Now let me open the, the door onto where it really happens, the Formula One garage. This is where we spend our days working either at Grand Prix weekends or on testing. In this area we have the tele telemetry. Uh, this is where the engineers can monitor everything that's happening on the car. The main operating area is the garage itself. On the right we have Jano Tuli's car. On the left, Frau Schumacher. Each car has its own team dedicated to the driver and dedicated to the engineers. We store the fuel, bring it forward as and when we need it. Because tyres are so important, we have a supply of Bridgestone tyres. And now we close the circle. We've given you a privileged look behind all the doors here in Cologne, which I hope you've really enjoyed. We've been to the track, and now this is the desk where I work. I hope you become convinced and committed supporters of Panasonic Toyota Racing, and that you will see us and enjoy our first victory soon.